Samantha Josephson mistaking Nathaniel Rowland's car for her Uber could happen to anyone. Ride share companies have measures in place to keep both riders and drivers safe. But after this tragic incident, some people argue more can be done to maximize everyone's safety. 7 News reporter Stephanie Foreman has those details. Every day, millions of people open their smartphones to call a car on a ride share app, and within minutes, a driver arrives to pick you up. Ryan Smith drives for both Uber and Lyft in the upstate. He says both companies have strict requirements drivers have to abide by from identification on cars. So they make sure that um, we adequately label the cars. So you're going to have more or less your stickers and like your front windshield and possibly your back windshield. To providing riders with the driver's license plate number, car make and model, and a picture of the driver. And what I personally like to do, whether I'm driving or riding, is say the person's name. In the case of University of South Carolina student Samantha Josephson, police say she mistakenly got into a black Chevrolet Impala thinking it was the Uber she called. Police say it was not. Further investigation on the suspect vehicle determined the child that a child safety seat was in the back and then the child safety locks were activated on the door that would not allow someone to the means of escape from the back of the suspect vehicle. While rideshare companies do annual criminal checks on all drivers and have an emergency button in the app that notifies 911, riders can take their own safety measures. Things like confirming the details with the driver before getting in the car and riding in groups when possible. Do you think that there's anything that like Uber or Lyft could do to make you feel safer? I think it's really hard to say. Um, you know, every, every, everything is uh, really, really scary right now. Smith tells 7 News more measures could be in place to prevent another tragedy and keep both drivers and riders safe. I like a suggestion as far as like scanning, like if they sent us our own personal like kind of barcode on the car, if you scan it and it says this isn't your Uber, you won't get into the car. Stephanie Borman, 7 News. Experts also suggest that riders wait indoors for their rides. It prevents you from revealing to a passing motorist that you are waiting for someone to pick you up. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the uh, Samantha Josephson story online at WSPA.com and on our 7.